within the last couple of days, uh, the uh, training for the uh, triathlon uh, was canceled, uh, and uh, they're not sure if it's going to go on tomorrow and happen. They just uh, gambled, uh, you know, flipped the coin and hope for a dry season, and it turned out to be the uh, rainiest uh, in the last 30 years. And uh, someone should have expected this, and I'm sure that they had an idea that this was likely to happen, or 50-50, but they gambled, I think. And what we're seeing within the last couple of decades is more frequent and more severe storm events. We used to talk about, you know, 10-year uh, storms, 100-year storms. And within the last two decades, due to climate change, we're seeing, you know, 10-year storms almost every year. We're seeing 100-year uh, storms every other year. So it, it's just rain events uh, are more frequent and more severe. So uh, they, these underground, underground ground tanks simply don't have enough capacity to hold this much of rain. That's why we see more and more sewer overflows. I think the lesson that uh, you know future uh, Olympics uh, planners should take from Paris experience is there is no quick fix to this issue. It's a long term problem. It should start addressing the climate change in the first place and uh, perhaps uh, erring on the side of caution to protect the athletes. Yes, it's low risk, but it's at risk in the end. And it's going to take a long time to solve these issues all over the world, not just Paris, but everywhere in the world. Thank you.